Welcome to our Kong stuffing video version uh, 2.0. This is the second one we've done. We have a variety of Kongs here. We have the big Kongs, um, hard chewers, easier chewers. Uh, the black and the red are the most common. We have the next size down so we can line them up, right? So um, this size is for the itty bitties. Uh, we have a little Maltese right now in who's using this size. This is the next size up. Um, we're using this. My border collie can use this one. We have a mini Aussie that's using this one. Um, this one is my usual one that most of my dogs use. It's, um, you know, it's the middle one there. And uh, my 50, 60 pound dogs, um, well, 30 to 60 pound dogs usually use that one. Uh, this is where we're going with Arrow, just because he likes to, you know, play with them and everything. And um, it's just a bigger size. And uh, you can see we have a whole bunch. Now this type and this type, these are Puppy Kongs. Uh, so they're a little softer. Um, and they have them in, in the different sizes. If you have a puppy, start them with the Puppy Kongs. Um, you could do pink or blue, it doesn't matter. Or if you have an older dog, they're purple. Um, but it's the same stuff. So if you prefer pink or blue or purple, get the puppy or the, um, the adult older Kongs. Um, and then normal chewers and um, rough chewers. So you can see we have a whole bunch here and I wanna show you some of the things we use to stuff our Kongs. First, you can use peanut butter. This is simply Jif. The ingredients are peanuts, fully hydrated vegetable oils, mono and diglycerides, molasses, sugar, salt. You know, you can use peanut butter. Everyone knows Jif, right? This is actually the better peanut butter to use. I got this at the local grocery store and it is just peanuts that they grind for you right there. So you can stuff them with peanut butter. Um, I prefer canned dog food to stuff them. And this is actually my preferred brand is the Authority brand from PetSmart. Um, I like the ground entree instead of the chunks. And uh, ingredients, beef broth, beef chicken, uh, beef liver, brewer's rice, rice flour, dried beet pulp, blah, blah, blah. Um, but so we've got some canned food here. You can also stuff it with things like plain yogurt. All I'm finding at, at Sam's right now is Greek yogurt. So we actually have to get this from the regular grocery store um, because I like the plain yogurt for them. If you have cottage cheese, if you have leftovers, like guess what we had last night, guys? We had Pizza Hut. Uh, you can shove some leftover in there. You know, it's a little harder for your dog to get out. Boink, just like that, right? And then instead of just giving your dog the pizza crust, you give them the Kong filled with it. And here, Zoe, we're gonna give her this newer size, this smaller one that we got in. And it's something just really easy to make your dog work for their treat a little bit more. And then Jedi is right here. They're being good, so they get some while we're working it. And then I'm gonna show you how we do stuff a Kong. So I like to do this over the sink because, you know, breadcrumbs goes everywhere. There we go. And a Jedi. Good girl. Go ahead, you can take it. Turns off my hands from all the gunk. So I wanna show you the trick to stuffing a bunch of Kongs in a pretty short amount of time. And that trick, my friends, is a Ziploc baggie. So I am using a gallon size Ziploc baggie. This is actually the Walmart brand with the, um, you know, Ziploc up at the top. So it's not Ziploc, but it's kind of like Ziploc. So I came up with this just a few weeks ago. I used to decorate cakes and we would use a uh, pastry bag. And if we didn't have one, <laughs> we'd use a Ziploc baggie. So this is what you can use and how we can get all these Kongs stuffed really quickly and with little mess. So the cans have the pop tops. What you can do is pop it open and put them in the bag. Right now, all I'm worrying about is getting that canned dog food into the center of the bag. There we go. And you can get a couple of them in. You can always refill it. I mean, if you're doing this and you run out and you want to fill up some more Kongs, not everybody has a bajillion Kongs like we do. Um, so, you know, you might want to do this just once. You might want to use a quart size bag 
But like I said, I find this so much easier. And we'll use actually all three of the cans because I've got a whole bunch of cons to stuff. If I wanted to, I could add some of the yogurt into it. Um, I could add some peanut butter, some cottage cheese into this baggie. Um, you see how everything's going in there? Using the knife, you get stuff out pretty quickly. Wipe off the knife. And this is actually my dog's yogurt, but we're gonna um, we'll get a new knife for that or spoon. And I'll show you how you can mix it up too. So we can add in. So if you have leftovers, if you have like leftover, you know, diced chicken or whatever, you can throw whatever you want to in it. Um, once it's all in it, it looks so disgusting, doesn't it? You just zip it up and smush it up, okay? This gets, if you have different things, this makes it so they get, you know, a bite full of everything when they're doing it. And it makes it look even grosser, okay? I think that's good enough. You pick a corner, you flatten it out, right? Because I don't want a whole bunch of junk to come falling out whenever I open it. And you're gonna cut, cut it. That's what I took off of it, okay? So maybe about a half inch, an inch corner. And just like they do whenever you go to the grocery store and they're decorating the cakes, you get it ready. So I hold it in my hand. Some of it's coming out here. You can see how my hand is. This is zip shut so it shouldn't leak out the top. And there's only one hole. You put the hole and you squeeze. There you go. You can always tap it down a little bit, see if you can get some more in and put it off to the side. Grab another one and squeeze. Grab another one and squeeze. Look how easy this is, guys. You can fill up even little tiny Kongs. You don't squeeze as long. There you go. And squeeze. Oh, you got some out, that's okay, because you can get it in. You can just tap it in if you want to. Push it in with your fingers, but it's way less messy than trying to fill them individually. Um, and what we like to do Good doggies get Kongs. <laughs> um, you know, it's a good snack for at night if you're having a snack, if you're wanting have some uh, popcorn or some potato chips, your dog can have the Kong. And so you can see periodically as I'm doing it, I can grab it from the top and squeeze down all that extra that I had. And then, you know, if you wanted to do more, so this is three cans and a couple tablespoons of uh, yogurt. Um, you could put whatever. Uh, whenever I'm done, you know, if I needed to, I'll, I'll give them to the dogs right away. But I prefer to stick them in the freezer. Um, we have a shelf for uh, dog stuff in the freezer. So I like to throw those in there when they're frozen. Mm, let's use this one. This is one for Arrow. <laughs> he gets a big Kong. So if you don't want to put all of your canned food in one like this, you don't have to fill it up the whole way. You know, those do hold a whole bunch more. Uh, and do we have another little one? Yes, we do. Looks like I didn't shut it the whole way. We have some squeezing out. That's okay. Uh, but once they're frozen, guys, it works like a... A popsicle for your dog. It's not near as messy as if you would have done it with a knife or a spoon. <laughs> right? So there, you can see that one's not, not quite filled up the whole way. But also, in less than 10 minutes for this whole video, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Kongs filled. Um, and then the three that I gave them that I put breadsticks in. So, quick, easy way to fill up your Kongs. Have happy dogs. Happy dogs is happy you. So go get some canned food, fill up your Kongs, and you have happy doggies before you know it.